So Nate, tell us, what is the best camera for vlogging? Yeah, we've actually got a few options and I will show you what is the best and hopefully this will help you decide what's the best one for you. All right, hey, it's Scott Christopher once again here with Nate. Uh, be the hero, Nate. Wow, no shirt. I mean, you're wearing a shirt. I'm wearing a shirt. You're not wearing the shirt. I've uh, talked with uh, wardrobe people, people consultant, who care. wardrobe uh, consultant, and uh, your wife. Give some <laughs> I've actually hired one. Hired an image consultant because nice. anyway. That's good. Now, um, things are things are so rolling. So this is just a simple <laughs> T-shirt here. I don't have be the hero on me. Now today we're uh, talking about uh, equipment, hardware. And uh, before we even get into the question, we should tell you that we're shooting on, right now, on a Canon 80D. Mm -hmm. And was this the first camera that you purchased? So this is the first one. This, this, one. Is, the, this is the 70D. Okay. And then the upgraded version is the one that we're filming on right there. Right. And, 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 and the of, one... of the two, you prefer that one? Or are they just for different things? They're, the, they're identical cameras. This one's just a little bit newer. And so the feature of autofocus is slightly better. This one still works fantastic, but that one can film at 60 frames per second. That's really the only main feature difference. Mm. I almost got a second one of these because I liked it so much, but I thought, oh, the ADD is only a couple hundred dollars more because I needed a second camera, so I just got the upgrade. I'm glad you said something about the autofocus because I have a 60D, mm -hmm. and I have trouble with the autofocus. Yeah, this the 70D is the first camera that came out that had an autofocus feature, which... Uh, for video is pretty important because right. if you're if you're moving around the distance is changing especially if you've got a high quality lens where it blurs the background you, it's got to stay in focus on your face and so I mean watch this if I get close and it stays focused on my face see how Scott's and I'm blurred there? hi it's very arty so it it yeah. does that that automatically artsy fartsy so we're talking about vlogging right, right? Okay. and this was this was the typical camera that Casey Neistat used for a long time. On the camera that you're not seeing, there's a, a shotgun mic on top. So it's attached here. It's a mic that points forward. And then Casey would have his gorilla pod that he could hold it and, and vlog. Now, if I turn this on, this having a flip screen like this where you can actually yes. see yourself, that's, that's a big deal. Critical. So to vlog and to, to really, because you're taking a lot of selfie shots, but you know, you got to, the, the 70D, the 80D, great, great cameras because it's got the autofocus and it's got a flip screen. I really want to talk a lot about, about features, and I've got another camera here that I'm going to introduce. This is my new vlogging camera, and I'll explain why. But I can, um, I can see, for one thing, it's yeah, much smaller. Definitely. <laughs> but but that's our, instead of saying, hey, you need to get this specific camera, because maybe you want to go with Nikon, or right. maybe you want to go with Sony, or, or some, some other brand, the features that you want, you definitely want a flip screen. You've got to be able to see yourself, and you definitely want a good autofocus. And then depending on, on other things, where they're like, this doesn't have any way to attach a mic, this one here, and so it might be, you know, if you're going to use a shotgun mic all the time, you can't have one on this. So that's, that's a disadvantage. Now, are you just categorically, I'm sorry to cut you off, are you just categorically uh, omitting from vlogging, the, you know, the smartphones and the all those, by virtue of the fact that they simply don't have depth of field, they don't have the, the good lenses, it's just not even in the conversation. I mean, unless that's all you have, go you know for what? it. But I mean, because you know, this for a, a lot of point. people is, you know, to get a gorilla thing like you were saying and all of that, I mean, that's a that's a hefty and almost like a professional feeling camera where mm -hmm. some people might be kind of new timers going, I don't know how to pull focus or, of course, the autofocus, but I mean, or the aperture settings or f-stops mm -hmm. or whatever. I, you know, I mean, I don't know how much that plays into it, but I'm curious. So if you're getting started, you know, I do recommend starting with your phone um, and the, the one challenge is unless you have the the newer version of the iPhone this if I film in selfie mode where I can see myself it's not in 1080p HD. no it is not it's a it's a lower resolution Unless you have the 10 I think I think the 10 the might 10, have I think the 10 does the iPhone 10 has it that's it but but I'd recommend even then film in the 720 HD the right. lower level of HD and film in selfie mode and, and just get the ball rolling like see what it's like yeah. learn the ropes and then upgrade when you're ready to for a specific reason. Um, and it's just the look, the look, the overall end product with an SLR, a DSLR mm -hmm. camera is just 
far superior. Oh, yeah, because the, the topic of this video, we wanted to say, what's the best, okay. right? And right. so that's why I'm like, well, this is a good place to start, but this is really good. Gotcha. This is really good. This is what, you know, a lot of them, a lot of the, the top vloggers will use as a setup just like this. Okay. It might not be the exact, you know, Canon camera. Right. A lot of them, and this was kind of a staple for a while, then the ADD came out. So now I want to switch gears and kind of talk about why I switched over to this one just for vlogging. This is a point and shoot. It's obviously really teeny and it's got a little adapter that I have it's screwed in the, the bottom just there. so it yeah. can hook on uh -huh. a tripod or my grill pot or whatnot. But um, first of all, it's got a really good zoom lens. Right now it's, it's a, and by the way, it does have a flip screen, which is, is critical. Cool. So it's real critical. But right now it's filming at uh, a 24 millimeter. So it's a real wide angle and I can zoom all the way in you can see that to 200. So when I'm out and about, in fact, I'm just thinking of a video, my family went to Bear World. It's kind of a little park off the freeway in Rexburg, Idaho. <laughs> you, you, get boo -boo. A, you get a drive around yeah. and there's hundreds of bears. And so they come up there, you, have, you, you can't stop your car. Yeah. You have to just keep moving or they'll oh, climb yeah. on top of your car. Ugh. You can't roll down your windows. Um, but I was, you know, I was using this and I could zoom in for bears that were in the distance or playing around, swimming in the water, or I could zoom back out, you know, when I wanted. And this is not a digital pixel, pixelized zoom like you get from something like an Correct. iPhone. Correct. This is a real optical zoom. Optical zoom. To have something with that huge of a range from 24 millimeter, from which so is quite small. wide. This this camera right now, we're filming 24 millimeters. Gotcha. So it's a, it's a good wide shot. Yeah. But it can yet zoom all the way in the distance to 200. So it's got a great zoom and... With that, it's got a, an f-stop of 2.8, which that's a technical term. You might not know what I'm talking about there. I'm talking about the aperture where you can blur the background, okay? Um, this isn't as high end of a lens as that, but for a point and shoot with that big of a range, it's it's really good. Right. It, it's really, really good. For a vlogger to be hefting that around, and I say heft, it's way mm -hmm. of an overstatement because it's... I mean, I know you have this little foot on it here, but I mean, it's it's well, it's, I, it's not terribly light. But compared, I to hook the, this to my Gorilla Pod, and my oh, arm my yeah. arm doesn't get tired. You know, I'm just it's it's out there in front of me, and I can I can vlog and turn it around. And I don't know why we film so much in our car. I guess I'm thinking of my <laughs> wife and I when we're driving somewhere. It's like they're like we're at Arches National Park, and it's like we want to get scenery on the way to the yes. place that we're going to. Yeah. And so I'll be, you know, I'll be driving and I'll be like, oh, I got to get the camera out and hand it to my wife and show her how to use it and what to push and whatnot. And a big DSLR camera on the Gorilla Pod and, and with the big mic on it, it's like this it's a little intimidating. This for, is actually yeah. pretty nice, you know, just to be able to say, hey, here, you know, and, and I've got a little pouch that I can actually hook it in my, just stick it to my belt if I want to. And, but it, it's got the flip screen. The audio quality, it, it's pretty good. I'm actually... I was I was concerned about the audio quality not having a, a nice shotgun mic on top, but when when I'm talking to it, it actually turned out just great. So oh, I'm not cool. I'm not going to complain. Yeah. If there's wind or something, I'm going to use a lapel mic with a with a little you know some of that dead cat fur, just the name, right? Um, or or whatever a windscreen just to protect from yeah. the wind for better quality. In fact, I did that with uh, I was mountain biking, not with this camera. Another another tangent, but I was mountain biking. And I had a big thing here, and the guy on a horse says, "You got a, you got a mouse on your." <laughs> anyway, just a little side distraction. Mountain there. bikers, they don't know anything. So you're saying, does this have, uh, you know, the plug-in to do ex external mics? It doesn't. It doesn't do external mics. So that's that would be when I use my H1N to. Yeah, yeah, to say external audio. Yeah. Yep. So, but this. I'm loving this. I'm loving this as a great camera for vlogging because it's got the versatility of the zoom. It does have the flip screen. It does have the autofocus, yeah. which is, it's a really good autofocus for point and shoot. It does have image stabilization. And I, I would imagine in that category, the competitors also have other offerings you know or what? not? Does I'm going to bring up one downside. This, this is a pricey camera for a point and shoot. <laughs> 1200 bucks. So you probably didn't expect that price range for this camera, but... It has a lot packed into it. So, but if you want to know what's the best vlogging camera, that's why we're showing you this one today. Well, there you go. And compared to the to the SLR cameras you have, you're still saving with the lenses they have. That's probably a thousand dollars less. So. Well, yeah, because you have to buy the body and then the, the multiple lenses, yeah. the microphone, and it's yeah, and the mm. batteries. And, you know, batteries for this are about half the price as the batteries for that. There you have it. Hopefully you found this episode helpful. And uh, 
I have found it. It help, it's motivating me to make more money so I can afford to buy better cameras. Because you want to vlog? Oh, I do vlog, baby. No, I don't vlog. See you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>